Hey, welcome back. We're in the Gospel of John today. We're looking at verses 4 through 6, and let's see what it says. As it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah the prophet, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare the way of the Lord, make his paths straight. Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill brought low. The crooked places shall be made straight, and the rough ways smooth. And all flesh shall see the salvation of God. Now, back in the old days, we had what was called the Roman roads. And they would, when the the leader was going to go to another place, they would build their road and they made it just as straight as they could. They filled in the gaps. They they cut they could did cutouts in the hills so they could go straight. And uh, there was a system of Roman roads scattered across Europe for that very purpose. And this is an image that is is being used here now by John the Baptist talking about Jesus coming. When Jesus comes before that time, God sends messengers, workers who come and prepare the way. And so this is John's very own work. And he's quoting out of the book of Isaiah. And it's a very fascinating set of study to see what he gets back there in Isaiah 60, 61, right in those chapters. But notice what he's saying. He is John. John is this. He is the voice of one crying in the wilderness. He's telling people, get your hearts ready. Jesus is coming. This is something that is true for us even today because the first coming, John the Baptist prepared the way. And now we're living just before the second coming. And so today, God's people, every Christian person, really has an assignment by heaven. We are to be uh, in that in that, that kind of arrangement of John the Baptist. We're in that mode of, of straight giving the straight path, showing people the way to Jesus right before Jesus comes here at the second coming. So friends, John's mission is your mission and mine if we believe in Jesus. Everything that's crooked will be made straight. The rough ways are made smooth. That all happens before the king arrives. And so there's somewhat for you and I to do if we're going to be true followers of Jesus in these crazy times. We need to let him have our hearts and follow him fully and be, be born again every single morning and be changed day by day. Let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you for your gift of transformation. Thank you that you take the old life and you bury it and you give us a new life and you resurrect us into it, so to speak. Your power is there for us to follow you and to, so that our own habits are subdued, our own inclinations to sin are overrun by your power as we, as we seek you, Lord. So help us to be right with you. Thank you for your many gifts. Thank you that you've called us to this gift. Now, John the Baptist, we're going to see, uh, is going to be beheaded as he's a faithful witness, but it's not going to be well received. And so there we also see ahead of time that we will not be so well received. But Lord, use us in whatever way you'd like to until whatever happens to us happens to us. Help us to be faithful until Jesus comes. We thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friend, be, be a John the Baptist. Be thoughtful and spirit-led as you draw people, as you draw hearts to Jesus, and as you show them the path, that will be doing the work of John the Baptist, the work we have for these hours. God bless you today.